So my next guest has been deeply affected by the issue of illegal immigration. Her son, Sergeant Brandon Mendoza, was on his way home from his shift as a police officer in Mesa, Arizona in 2014, when he was killed in a head-on collision by an illegal immigrant who had been driving drunk for hours in the wrong direction on the roads. She has since become one of the president's most ardent advocates on immigration reform. I want to tell you what, I'm supporting the man who will, is the only man who's going to save our country and what we are going to be leaving our children. Here now, Angel Mom, Marian Mendoza. Marian, nice to see you in person. Thank you very much for being here. So you hear this debate that's going on, and I know that you say that you don't believe that President Trump will turn his back on people like you who gave him support during the campaign. I'm holding on to hope about that, and, and I want to be able to say to all of these politicians, they have to stop importing, protecting, and providing for illegal dreamers. They need to start protecting and providing for American dreamers. There can never be a clean dream act with all of the blood of these innocent Americans on, on, on it. It just can't happen. Speaking of some of those lawmakers, this is Steny Hoyer and Nancy Pelosi. Let's listen. And our dreamers, you are here to stay. We will not rest. We will not stop. This will not end except happily for our dreamers. Uh, so it again, it is, uh, they are inspiration. And the State of the Union is better because of the dreamers. The State of the Union will be brighter in the future if we make the right decision for dreamers. What goes through your mind when you hear that? Oh, I'd, I'd love, and I, and I know every member of AVIAC would be by my side as we face every one of those politicians and say to them, which child of yours would you choose to lose to support your dreamer agenda? Which child do you want to lose at the hands of an illegal alien? Because that's the price they've made us pay. And they're the very people who are making these laws and telling us that we need to protect these people and have them in our country. And... And, and turning their backs on their American constituents. They're not listening to what we're saying. And it's not fair for more American families. And this is the reason why every one of us with AVIAC have taken this fight on. There is no reason why any American has to feel the loss and the, and the pain that we have. And I've told you before, Martha, when I've been on your show, there's hundreds of thousands of American victims every year. They may not be killed, but they're raped and they're assaulted and they have identity theft. And the people who are reaching out to us since they've seen us a lot on the news is astronomical. And it is not right for our politicians or the liberal media to lie to the American people about what these DACA people are about. They, they do commit crimes. They don't graduate from high school. They're not all contributing members of society. And to lie to the American public to promote an agenda is just not beneficial to the country Are there any dreamers that you would, you would be okay with staying? Yes, but, you know, I don't think you can pass a DREAM Act or DACA reform until you start restructuring what's going on. And, and like I said on your program last week, if they've committed a crime, they're out. If they're on welfare, they're out. They have to have things that are happening that are making sure we are bringing the best of the best into our country. Maria Mendoza, thank you very much. Good to have you here tonight. Thank Thanks you.